Now we're moving on to equations that involve absolute values on both sides. The, the process is essentially the same. Uh, isolate the absolute value on each side. Uh, and the difference is, is that we'll set it equal to the negative and the positive of the absolute value on the right hand side. <clears throat> so we're starting off with the absolute value of 7x minus 3 equals the absolute value of 3x plus 7. So we have absolute values isolated on each side. So we'll go ahead and set this equal to the negative of the right hand side and the positive of the right hand side. So 7x minus 3 equals negative 3x plus 7 or 7x minus 3 equals 3x plus 7 and then we solve for the variable in each instance so we'll distribute the negative on the left hand side 7x minus 3 on the right hand side of the left hand side equals negative 3x minus 7 I'll go ahead and write my or out here after each step so we add 3x to both sides that gives us 10x minus 3 equals negative 7 add 3 to both sides we get 10x equals negative 4 and if we divide both sides by 10 that's negative 4 tenths which is the same thing as simplified negative 2 fifths now we'll solve the right hand side <coughs> subtract 3x from both sides we get 4x minus 3 equals 7. Add 3 to both sides. We get 4x equals 10. And then divide both sides by 4. And we get x equals 10 fourths, which is x equals 5 halves. So, so far, tentatively speaking, our solutions are x equals negative two-fifths or x equals five-halves. To check, we plug both of those back into the original equation and make sure that they make true statements. So seven times our first solution was negative two-fifths for x minus three. The absolute value of seven times negative two-fifths minus three, we want to know does that equal the absolute value of three times negative two-fifths plus seven. So seven times negative two-fifths, that's negative fourteen-fifths minus three, but that's the same thing as fifteen-fifths. Does that equal negative six-fifths plus, that's the same, 7 is the same thing as 35 fifths. So does the absolute value of negative 14 minus 15 is negative 29 fifths. Does the absolute value of negative 29 fifths equal the absolute value of 35 minus 6 is 29 fifths. And that is verified. We have 29 fifths equals 29 fifths. So that that checks. Now let's check our 5 halves. So the absolute value of 7 times 5 halves minus 3. Does that equal the absolute value of 3 times 5 halves plus 7? 7 times 5 halves is 35 halves minus 3 is the same thing as 6 halves because 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we want to know, does that equal the absolute value of 15 halves plus 7 is the same as 14 halves. So then we end up with, is the absolute value of 29 halves 
equal the absolute value of 29 halves. And going ahead and simplifying one step further, 29 halves does equal 29 halves. So our solutions check. So the solution to solutions to the absolute value of 7x minus 3 equals the absolute value of 3x plus 7 are x equals negative 2 fifths or x equals 5 halves.